Today's reading is from Psalm 92, a song of praise. How good it is to give thanks to you, O Lord, to sing in your honour, O God Most High, to proclaim your constant love every morning and your faithfulness every night. And with the music of stringed instruments and with the melody on the harp, your mighty deeds, O Lord, make me glad. Because of what you have done, I sing for joy. How great are your actions, Lord. How deep are your thoughts. This is something a fool cannot know, a stupid person cannot understand. The wicked grow like weeds. Those who do wrong may prosper, yet they will be destroyed. Because you, Lord, are supreme forever. We know that your enemies will die and all the wicked will be defeated. You have made me as strong as a wild ox. You have blessed me with happiness. I have seen the defeat of my enemies and heard the cries of the wicked. The righteous will flourish like palm trees. They will grow like the cedars of Lebanon. They are like trees planted in the house of the Lord that flourish in the temple of our God, that still bear fruit in old age and are always green and strong. This shows that the Lord is just, that there is no wrong in my protector. Amen. This psalm, it's called a song of praise, but in some of the older editions of the scriptures, it actually says, for the Sabbath. So I thought, let's just take a little moment to have a look at that and think about what this psalm was written for, because it is written to get us to praise God, the God who is creator of all things, the God who provides our blessings on a daily basis, but also for to be used for the Sabbath. We think of the Sabbath as a Sunday for the Jewish people. The Sabbath was a Saturday. It started on a Friday evening and ran through to the Saturday evening. But what we need to understand is that there was always worship on a daily basis in the temple. People could go to the temple to pray. If they would go to the temple, they would possibly hear praise at one time or another as well. This praise for the Sabbath, though, is the day where our our minds, our hearts, everything in us should be focused towards God. It was a day that we took out to, to focus completely on God. How far removed we are from those days. Our Sabbath, the Sunday, well, I would imagine that we don't even spend the whole of a Sunday focused on God. We would probably spend maybe Sunday morning going to church or perhaps at some point watching or listening to the the little video clip that we have from the service online. Then we possibly have lunch and go off to do things in the afternoon and by evening already thinking about the work or the school or whatever it is that we have starting at the beginning of the new week. How far removed it is from a day when we are focused entirely on God. And as we go through this psalm, we realise that the psalmist is bringing our attention to the blessings that we have. I can stand outside here on a beautiful summer's day. It's not always like that here in Scotland, but today it is absolutely wonderful. And yet we do need that balance of the weather. It can't always be too sunny or else the crops would be completely parched. We don't need too much rain either. And yet God has given us all of these resources. It's not often that we take the time to say thank you to him and to acknowledge his wonderful gifts. The psalmist also recognises he's not naive. He's not some youngster who thinks that God's like some kind of fairy godmother and just wave a wand. The psalmist recognises that life can be tough that there are horrible things that can happen in our world. And he acknowledges that. He is well aware of all of this. And yet he takes a decision not to make that his focus. That's not what this focus is. What he's basically saying is, I can leave all of these things to God Almighty. And instead, I can focus on him and focus on the wonderful blessings and the wonderful things that he has done. 
God who provides for you and I also provides for the creatures that are all around us. God who has given us this wonderful planet also expects us to play our part in the upkeep of this wonderful planet. God is our protector and our provider. It doesn't take us out of the equation though and we must do all that we can. The God who feeds the birds also feeds us. He is that involved in who we are and this world in which we live. So maybe if we can't decide to give God one whole day, a Sunday, maybe we could make Sabbath time in every day. You see, because this psalmist is choosing to focus on the blessings of God and acknowledge the reality of this horrible world in which we live, that it can be tough, that there can be people who um, will do wrong and do wrong to us. Because the psalmist is choosing instead to acknowledge the brilliant things of God, it will change his attitude so that he will have a ministry of praise and God's creatures you and I should have that basic ministry of praise, not a ministry of moaning, which is what we get if we focus too much on the enemy's bit. So whilst we do live in this real world and whilst we acknowledge real issues, for example, at the moment, this pandemic that is affecting every nation, whilst we're there, let us instead choose to look to God, our protector, and thank him for the wonderful things that he has done thus far, in spite of politicians making mistakes, in spite of us not always getting it right, even as individuals. In spite of that, let us give thanks to God, who will indeed provide everything that we need to come out the other side of this pandemic. Let us continue to praise him. Let us continue to worship him in all of his goodness. Let us talk to God right now. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you that you are indeed our provider and protector. We thank you that all things lie in your hands. Forgive us when we are too wrapped up in the worries and troubles of this world to turn our faces to you. Lord, we pray today that for those who are struggling with COVID-19, those who are sick, those who are finding the restrictions intolerable, those, Lord, who have lost loved ones. Lord, we pray for each and every one that you would draw close. Lord, we pray for all of our families, friends, neighbours, our communities, Lord, all of those that we hold close and ask that you would draw near, but even more importantly, that they would be aware of your presence, that you would bring the comfort, that you would bring the healing, that you would bring the direction and encouragement that they need at this time. Lord, we take a few moments of silence while we bring before you those who we carry in our hearts. Lord, we thank you for your continued presence. We thank you for your continued blessing. And we make these prayers in Jesus' name, who taught us when we pray to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever. Amen.
So now may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you evermore. Amen.